Behold, the infamous 2.0 liter split port Ford uh, four cylinder engine, also called the SPI engine or the single overhead cam two liter engine. This is in a 2001 Ford Focus. A lot of people have asked me if I knew what was going to make the engine blow up before it blew up, or if there were any clues. What, what happens on these engines is uh, the bottom end is reasonably reliable, but the top end, the valve seats come loose from the cylinder head and drop into the cylinder and if they if it's in little chunks then they sometimes they can blow out your exhaust pipe and be okay and you just kind of it smokes and you have the cylinder head replaced other times if a big enough chunk comes in and it can't get out of the exhaust then this happens this is the piston that came out of this engine so you can see the whole bottom end of the piston is sh shattered the top of it's all beat up from the valve seat and the connecting rod is bent here at the top so before this happened, my car was running rough. Sometimes it'd run just a little bit rough, not a lot rough, but it would just be a little bit rough, like maybe there was a crack in the valve seat before it let loose. And sometimes it would stall. Not every, like every couple of weeks, I'd be sitting at a stoplight and it would stall and I'd start up the engine and it would run again. Um, also, if the check engine light comes on, and then goes off again pretty quick. Um, on on this car, the code said cylinder misfire, like one of the cylinders was misfiring, and so it would then correct itself. I'm not sure why the valve seat thing would do that, but any any rough running or anything is, is definitely a clue for that. And if you've got one of these with more than 70,000 miles on it, it's a good preemptive strike to just go ahead and replace the cylinder head before it takes out the bottom end of your engine. 